Hi everyone, let's begin one more important problem of Z-test. And there is, we are using only one tail test. Here's the problem statement is, our researcher believes that on an average, UG students are exposed to more than three hours of screen time per day. Suppose that a random sample of 100 scholars is selected and the mean screen time for the sample is calculated to be 3.3 hours. The standard deviation of the population is given to be 1 hour. Test the claim that the average number of hours of screen time per day for all UG students is greater than 3 hours at 90% confidence interval. So what we, we have got through this question, one is UG students are exposed to more than three hours of screen time per day. That is our population mean. But sample mean we had collected 100 scholars and 100 scholars mean is 3.3 hours. And standard deviation is already given, that is one hour. And we want to check whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected, but at 90% confidence interval. So we will start this solution. First of all, we will frame our hypothesis. Solution is null hypothesis, that is population mean. Population mean. Here is written already, that would be either equal to or it would be it would be less than 3. That means that is the problem statement. So it means whatever we are claiming, it is correct. So at this moment, our null hypothesis is accepted. But when we are saying new means population mean, alternate hypothesis said, population mean it is greater than 3, that means our alternate hypothesis is correct. So let's see, after applying z-test, which one statement would be accepted and which one would be rejected. So sample mean is, you can see here, 100. What is our sample mean? You can see that is 100. That is our sample mean, n. X bar is already given because sample mean, this is the number of the sample, sample mean is 3.3. And alpha value, because we are testing at the 90%, not 95%, we are at the we are getting these values at the 90% confidence interval. So 1 minus alpha value will be 1 minus 0 0.9, that would be 0 0.1. And new statement would be 3. New means that would be your population mean. Then we come to the we are going to apply this particular formula z equal to x minus mu x bar this is x minus mu standard deviation sigma divided by under root n this is our formula of z this is our we can see here we are talking about only this part right towards the one side so that is we can call it one tail test what we are going to Call it one tail test. That is our one tail test. And in the one tail test, this is the shaded area. Shaded area, this is the after when we have to get this z value. We will check this value in our z table. This is our rejection area. How we have to calculate this rejection area. So let me go step by step how we have to reach on this solution. You can see this is the formula of Z calculation. We will put all the values. This is X bar. This is under root N. So X bar is 3.3. Mu 3. Point, mu is 3. 3.0 divided by 1. 1 means standard deviation. Already given you can see here. 1 is our standard deviation. Where is written 1 is our standard deviation is. Yes, 1 hour. Standard deviation is this. So standard deviation 1 and after that 1 by under root 100 because 100 sample size we have taken. Now what we, what we have to calculate, we will solve this 
right? And finally, we have got this is the solution. So total area after 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 evaluating all those things after calculating, we will reach on this solution. 0 0.0013. What is the solution? 0 0.0013. And now p value is 0 0.003. Because you can see here how we had calculated p value, right? One some one tail test. So we will find the value of this 0 0.00 at the one probability so at the at the at the one uh, you can see 0 0.00313 because this value it is at the 90% confidence interval right that is less than 0 0.05 so ultimately we reject null hypothesis we can say in the question statement Null hypothesis, that was, we were talking about mu means population mean, it would be equal to 3. But it's not happening here. You can see here, that is why null hypothesis is rejected. Our p-value, that is greater than 0 0.05. So, in that way, we can say we can reject null hypothesis. Table value, you can, you have already seen table value, I have shown you. In this question also, yesterday I had recorded this thing and table value I have I have already shown how you have to check. So I hope this video would be helpful. Keep watching, stay tuned.